for Norwich Boxing. Down the kickstop gym was A for Morris. Um, just witnessing did some rounds with Craig Poxton in preparation for his English title. Not only that, Zafin's back out in March the 4th. How do you feel it went? Yeah, good, mate. Um, some good, some bad. That's what sparring's about. Um, I always say sparring's it's like your school. You know, it's where you learn. It's where you put everything that you've been training to use. And, uh, yeah, it went well, mate. You know, but there's always stuff to work on, as always. So, yeah, enjoyed it. Obviously, last time we spoke to you, we, um, we, we know you like Christmas. Yeah. And, uh how was your Christmas and how was training over the Christmas period? Yeah, uh, Christmas was great, mate. Uh, loved it. Um, kids running around like nutcases as they are, as I am. Uh, yeah, it was good, mate. Really good. Um, bit of a sickness bug going about, but um, when it's Christmas, you don't care, do you? You're still happy. So, yeah, um, trained, trained well. Um, it was good to sort of, you can enjoy Christmas a little bit because you know you're training. And, and uh, yeah, it was good, mate. Love it. Um, something I spotted on Facebook and social media. Yeah. Uh, John Faxton sort of put out there that you didn't turn up for a, a <laughs> session, maybe the sickness yeah. bug come about and we'll clear this up for you now. Um yeah, that's basically it. Second time round um there's some cheating or something on your yeah, round, so yeah, it's yeah, a can we yeah, can we clear that up? Me. Nothing to do it. John John Faxton cheated. And uh he we went for a run. First of all he said it'd be a two mile run, straight down the road and straight back. And then so we're running straight down the road and he decides to just shoot off to the right and it turns into a four mile run. All the way, he's running into the road, nearly getting us run over. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, just being John, really. But, uh, uh, yeah, so he cheated. Uh, I didn't cheat. And uh, what was the other thing? Oh, yeah, I didn't turn up for... I did turn up for training on Boxing Day. Um, but I was so ill, mate, I had, to, I had to go. I had to literally shoot to Sainsbury's so I could run in their toilet, mate. It was that bad. But I, tur <laughs> I turned up just in case I felt all right when I got there. So uh, There we go. Dedication is the key <laughs> in this That's sport. It. And you're obviously showing that you're dedicated. Yeah. March 4th coming around quickly now. Yeah. Um, what can be? Well, I ask it every time, but yeah. obviously every week you're tra 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 uh, training, you changing your training slightly and yeah. learning new things in the gym. What can people expect March of four? Um, they can expect um, me to have to build on my last performance. I think in my last performance I was a lot more explosive, um, throwing a lot more combinations, a lot more direct with my boxing. You know, what, look, looking to hurt, really sort of working the body, working the head. Um, it's my first six round fight as well this time, so we're stepping up that way. We're stepping up in uh, opponent as well. And uh, just really looking to push on and really progress. You know, 2016, we're all hoping, me especially, is going to be a really good year for me. And uh, it's down to me to put the hard work that these, the trainers and everyone's putting in with me in the gym. It's up to me to do it on the night. And um, I'll be doing that, mate. You know, looking forward to it. Um, 2016 is a new year, yeah. a big year. Um, the people on board with you has changed slightly. Can you sort of? Yeah. Do you uh, like give them a? Yeah, unfortunately, I lost one of my sponsors. Um, I'd just like to say thanks to them. Actually, Fallen Angels. They like, they were brilliant from the get go. They've uh, been with me from the start and um, always helped me in any way possible. You know, and uh, that was through no fault of theirs or no fault of mine that they couldn't sponsor me anymore. It's uh, just the way it goes sometimes. And uh, so yeah, thanks to them. But luckily, um, I found an appropriate sponsor. Um, Rebel Ink Risers and Rebel Ink Tattoo and Pearson Studio. Um, they're on board. I had a meeting with them yesterday, and uh, what a great bunch of people, you know, and a really good, really good tattoo studio. I've had some work done by some of their artists before, actually, as it goes, and uh, so I know they're good, you know, I trust them. And uh, yeah, th uh, you know, speaking to them, they're really excited, I'm really excited, and yeah, I'm happy and thankful they're on board, you know, so yeah. Well, you've obviously got a lot of backing behind you oh, now, mate, so yeah. um, just for camera purposes and so that everyone can sort of see. Yeah, um, these are my sponsors here. Um, the Surrey Tavern, Alter Ego Hair and Beauty, Bobby Dazzler's Cleaning Limited, Ultimate Fight Outlet, DSW, Doors Plus, and of course, we've got uh, Rebel Ink Risers and Rebel Ink Tattoo Studio on board now as well. So. Brilliant. Well, best of luck for Cheers. 2016. Thanks, mate. Um, hope camp goes well, and yeah, I'll mate, see you on the night, yeah, March 4th. Yeah, Brilliant. Can't wait, really looking forward to it. And uh, yeah. Peace!